Tesla makes some great cars, and people are buying Model Ys and 3s each day. One big thing about Tesla, though, is simplicity. They make remarkably simple cars with very simple interiors, so there is plenty of room to improve on these cars. Luckily, there are companies dedicated to making accessories specifically for these cars, so today I'm going to break down the must-have accessories for a Tesla Model Y or 3, along with some fun ones you may want as well. Some accessories are different between each car, and I'll detail those differences and link each accessory below in the order I present them in this video. Video, so let's get into it. First up is the accessory that has now become number one for me, all-weather floor mats. Depending on your vehicle configuration, Tesla either includes no floor mats or cheap carpet ones. They require shampooing to truly clean and will end up getting wet or muddy if you're in anything but sunny weather. All-weather floor mats from any brand can typically be a good option, but the best mats for Teslas I've found come from 3D Max Spider. These are great versatile floor mats specifically designed for the Model 3 and Y separately and perform very well. They have a great texture that traps dirt and water water, prevents water from sloshing around, but also has a great soft feel. They function like all-weather floor mats, but don't feel hard and rubbery on your feet like many other do in the car. I like them for this along with the way that they look. They don't take away from the clean look of the car, but they work incredibly well. I found them very easy to vacuum or wipe down with interior spray as well. They sell a variety of packs for these mats. You can simply buy the mats for the front and rear seats, or you can buy a number of others on top of that. They all work great, and I have the complete package in my Model Y, including a mat for the rear trunk, mat for both under storage compartments, mats for the front trunk, and inserts for the side cubbies. On top of this, they sell mats for the back of the rear seats. For me, I would load cargo into the trunk, and it would be resting on the trunk floor mat, but then resting on the back of the rear seats with no protection. To remedy this, I bought these mats that attach to the back of the rear seats in the Model Y. This allows me to load in cargo and have complete protection for the interior of the car. I highly recommend buying the full package of all mats in the Model Y as they work great and protect the car all over, but there are plenty of other package options as well. They're all linked in the description below and are fantastic in both the Model Y and Model 3. Next up is an essential accessory for anyone living in an area that requires a front license plate by law. Teslas aren't designed with front license plates in mind, but they are legally required in many areas. Tesla includes a front plate bracket with the Model 3 and Y that sticks on with 3M tape, but once it's on there, it's not something you're going to want to take off. If you don't care at all, then it's fine, but many people want to be able to take their plate off or at least have flexibility there long term. When you take off Tesla's plate bracket, it can harm the paint or the PPF if you have that on your car. That's where the Quick Bandit comes into play. The Quick Bandit is a very well-made accessory that attaches to the front grille of the Model 3 or Y and puts your front license plate in position. The design is slightly different for each car, so be sure to order the correct one linked below. In any case, the Quick Bandit makes it very easy to put your license plate on and then remove it when you want it off. For myself, I film a lot with these cars, so I remove the Quick Bandit for filming and then put it back on after. There is also a security screw included to lock the plate in beyond the built-in lever and prevent anything from happening to it. I have this on the Model 3 and Y, and both have served me very well. I drive with a front plate, as legally required the majority of the time, and then take them off when filming with these cars. If a front plate is required where you live, it's a huge improvement over the bracket Tesla includes with your car, and I highly recommend it. It's linked below. The next essential accessory is a screen protector. With any Tesla, and especially the Model Y and 3, your screen controls most of what you do inside the car. Almost all controls happen on the beautiful 15-inch touchscreen included in these cars, and if anything were to happen there, it would be a necessary and expensive expensive repair. It's a strong glass screen like a smartphone, but it's always a good idea to protect the screen and it comes with other advantages as well. In my 2020 Model Y, I had the Elon Accessories screen protector and the bottom right corner actually cracked a bit. I don't know when it happened, but I'm glad that that screen protector was there and that cracked and not the screen itself. It's very cheap to replace the screen protector. In my Model 3, I went with a cheaper screen protector from Amazon that I'll link below because it has worked just as well so far. It's not supporting a small business like Elon Accessories, but it does get the job done. The other reason to get a screen protector is to keep the screen clean. The default screen is a fingerprint magnet and there's no denying it, and those fingerprints don't stick nearly as much with a screen protector. Additionally, with a matte screen protector, glare is dramatically reduced on the screen. Overall, it's a great purchase to protect your screen, make it easier to clean, and help to avoid fingerprints and glare. Next, let's talk about a fun accessory. This one isn't for everyone, but may be exactly what you've been looking for, the Cyber Backpack. The Cyber Backpack is very much inspired by the Tesla 
Cybertruck and has become one of my favorite backpacks. It's a very fun design and the hard shell makes it incredibly durable. Not only that, but it includes anti-theft features, a TSA lock, charging ports, hidden pockets, and more. It fits my 16-inch MacBook Pro easily and is expandable to fit as much as I might need. It comes in either steel gray or raven black and looks awesome in either color. Pretty much everywhere I take this, I get compliments on how cool the design is, and I love that it combines cool looks with incredible functionality. It's linked in the description below. Next up are three accessories to help with the smell of your car. First, if you have a Model 3 or an older Model Y before Tesla added the HEPA filter standard, you'll need to replace your cabin filters at some point. When it comes time to replace these, you can buy them from Tesla, but these third-party HEPA filters do a great job of giving you better filtration than standard filters. Again, these will apply for all new Model 3 purchases, but not new Model Y purchases as of filming this video. They aren't the easiest to install, but you can save yourself some time and money by installing these yourself, and you'll get air filtration closer to Tesla's official bioweapon defense mode and cars that don't include that. These can help with smell, and there's something I actually changed out pretty quickly on my original Model Y. Another product that can also help with smell is Scent Wedge. Scent Wedge makes natural air fresheners that fit perfectly into the invisible AC strip on the Model 3 and Y. They also make air fresheners for the rear vents as well. They have a number of different scents, ranging from coastal forest to Big Sur, and for each air freshener kit they sell, they plant a tree. They smell far better than normal car air fresheners and are sustainably sourced, so they actually help the environment. They also make your car smell good while being completely hidden from view. You can check out Scent Wedge linked below, and they have a lot of great scents to choose from. For me, they're the air freshener to get for your Tesla. At the same time though, if you prefer your classic standard car air fresheners, you'll realize there are no vents to clip them to in a Tesla. That's where the Spigen air freshener adapter comes in. This adapter slides right into the invisible AC slot in a Model Y or Model 3 and sticks with gentle adhesive. Then you can easily clip any classic car vent air freshener to it. It's a cheap accessory that does a great job for those wanting it. While you're working on keeping your Tesla smelling fresh, you'll also want to keep it clean. There are a bunch of great cleaning products I'll recommend later in this video, but the easiest accessory to keep on hand is a handheld vacuum. This is the Fantic V8 handheld vacuum. It comes with a storage case, fits easily in the side cubby of a Tesla, charges over USB-C, and handles most simple vacuuming jobs in a Tesla. I keep it in my Tesla full time and it does a great job. They also make the V9 though, and it's a larger, more powerful handheld vacuum. Vacuum. I personally keep this one in our Rivian R1T, but of course it works great in any car and is still small enough to keep stowed away in a side cubby, the front trunk, under storage, or anywhere else. Now, speaking of all those storage spaces in a Model Y or Model 3, these are all locations that can be optimized with great accessories. First is the center console. The center console is deep along with the storage under the armrest in both of these cars, and these center console organizers do a great job. They're designed for the latest Model Y and Model 3 center consoles, and they divide everything perfectly. This drawer goes under the sliding drawer, gives you smaller options and compartments, and then itself can slide forward and out of the way of the rest of the space beneath it. It feels like something that this car should have come with because it integrates so well, and I'll link a couple options of it below. Then there's an armrest console organizer that fits right there and can keep smaller objects close by. They come in a package together, but in addition to this is a hidden storage compartment that goes in the underside of the armrest. This is great for keeping things you need but want hidden, and it flips open easily with a door in the corner. There are a few different versions of this accessory, and I'll link my favorites below. Next are under seat storage containers. The Model Y seats are sitting on risers, so there's actually a great deal of storage underneath these seats. The only issue is that the storage passes through to the other side, so nothing Nothing really stays there when you're driving. That's where these under seat storage containers come into play. They slide under the front seats and stay put. You can store whatever you would like in there, like an umbrella, charging cables, or anything else, and there is a good amount of storage available under each seat with these. They easily slide out and in, and have worked great in my experience so far. It's a great way to utilize that extra under seat space in the Model Y. One thing I did notice though is that if the front seat is adjusted low, you can't slide these out or in without catching the 3D Max Spider floor mats, but if you raise the seat up to what I think most people do in this car, it's not an issue. Another location for more storage is a container for rear storage in the Model Y. This rear storage organizer velcros into the gap between the front seats right under the center console and can hold a variety of different things for rear passengers. I personally use it for snacks and a mini trash can whenever I'm traveling with extended family around. You can remove and replace the centerpiece if you want to treat that as the mini trash can like I do. This could come in especially handy if you frequently have rear passengers or want to store things in your car that are close 
by, but out of the way. So those are all small storage locations that can be optimized, but the two main storage locations that aren't the flat trunk bed itself are the front trunk and rear under storage. The front trunk has a lot of space, but really just ends up being one large area to store things in. Depending on what you put in there, it might just toss around as you drive. If you specifically like putting smaller things into the front trunk, this front trunk organizer could be perfect for you. It has a large pocket in the middle and then five other compartments that can make it super easy to store a lot in your front trunk and keep it organized. Again, it also protects the front trunk itself since you can easily clean the plastic insert if anything were to spill. I keep this in my Model Y full time and continue finding different things to store in there. Very similar to this organizer are these for the rear under storage compartment. Again, this is a big area and actually is so deep that it's a little tough to clean if you need to. That's where these dual layer storage organizers come into play. I just got these for my Model Y and they fit in perfectly. The large bin goes into the under storage compartment and then the second bin fits into that one if you want an easily removable secondary storage compartment. I haven't quite figured out how I'll utilize these, but I like that I can quickly pull out the full secondary bin full of whatever I'm storing there. Then there's more storage under that and both come out easily creating three different layers of storage. I'll probably end up keeping anything liquid in these tubs and anything that for sure won't damage the under storage compartment beneath both of them. The side cubbies in the Model Y are great and particularly give you some deep but small storage for things like drinks. Unfortunately, the interior isn't something that could get wet for a long period of time and even with the 3D Max Spider inserts, you could run into issues. That's where these Model Y trunk side storage bins come into play. They fit perfectly into the side cubbies, give you deep storage that is plastic and fully protects the interior and also creates a shelf above them. Interior protection is definitely becoming a theme here, and it's awesome when you can get that function, as well as storage versatility all in one package. These side cubby tubs blend in completely with the interior, but you can lift the lid and then use the plastic bin beneath to put whatever you may need in there. Another very simple but very effective accessory. Now to finish out storage optimization comes side door organizers. These are available for both the Model Y and Model 3. These insert into the side door wells in the front and rear of the Model 3 and Y and give you added organization and protection there. We still have many great accessories to get to, but if you find yourself wanting many of these, it may be a great option to check out the new owner's accessories bundle linked below. It includes 3D Max Piter floor mats, a screen protector, the quick bandit, an interior vacuum, a car cleaning kit, center console and armrest organizers, and door pocket organizers in one convenient bundle. It's linked below. Next up are two new accessories for me for mounting a phone and an iPad. First is this phone mount for the Model Y and 3 that attaches to the back of the center display and has a lot of flexibility if you find yourself needing your phone for maps or anything else while driving. It has 480 degrees of rotation since it includes a 360 degree swivel ball and 120 degree hinge, so it's incredibly flexible as to where your phone is mounted and positioned at any moment. Additionally, there's a wireless charging option for this mount so that while it's mounted up there, it's charging without the need to plug in a cable. It pairs well with the Tesla screen and it's very easy to use. The install process is very easy as well since it comes with packaging to specifically help with the alignment of the mount and charger. That will help if you need flexible phone access as a driver, but as a rear passenger, a simple mount will turn the rear seats into a full entertainment zone. This mount clips into the rear seats on the Model Y and 3 and then clamps into an iPad or other tablet very easily. It's a great way to set up a rear passenger to use an iPad on a road trip while also preserving next positioning. I know that I would be happy to have this on a road trip and it's positioned much better than a screen on a Model S or X or looking down at the iPad in your lap. Plus, you can take the iPad out when you're done. For both the Model Y and 3, they come with entirely glass roofs. The Model Y is one solid glass piece while the Model 3 is split in two. They provide great views and have UV protection, but in the dead of summer, they can still be too hot. When I road tripped one year to Arizona in April, this roof was letting in way too much heat, so now I finally bought myself a roof shade. This roof shade is thin and easy to install. You clip it in and then have a totally shaded roof when needed. If you always want the roof covered, this may be something you want to buy and use all the time. For someone like me, though, I'll keep it off until I'm going on a longer summer road trip or find myself getting too warm in this car frequently. It's fairly easy to use and comes in different versions for the Model Y or Model 3. One thing to note when installing here is that it is a little bit saggy and that's why it comes with these magnets, but you do need to adhere them to the glass roof and then this magnet will hold this up right into place. And it works really well, it's just you do have to do that so it's not a completely temporary install and then uninstall. 
Now I'm going to list off a bunch of small but useful accessories. I wouldn't say that these are essential, but they might add just the right protection or flair to your Tesla. They're all linked below in order. First is the armrest cover. I have the white interior in the Model Y, but the armrest is black. This simple cover makes it white, has the Tesla logo, and protects the armrest itself in the process. For now, I'm keeping it on and I'll see how I like it long term. Next are white headrests. Sometimes I need a little more neck support in these cars, so these simple headrests attach easily, match the white seats, and support my neck. I'll let you know in a future video how they are holding up long term. For sunglasses, I usually end up putting them in a case and hiding them in the center console, but this holder might be the easiest one I've found. I've tried various other sunglasses holders, but this one attaches and then hides on the lower side of the center console. So far, it's nice and easy to use. It comes with Velcro that you can either adhere to the plastic of any part in the car and use that way, or you can just Velcro it to soft parts of the interior. Here I am moving it to the door pocket, and I actually kind of like this location a lot. I haven't figured out for sure where I'm going to end up using this, but you can put it in a lot of different locations. The stocks in the Model Y and 3 come in a standard color, and since they're plastic, they're likely going to wear out long term. That's why I'm trying these stock covers. They're simple white covers that clamp over the stocks, match my white interior, and protect the stocks long term. They aren't for everyone, but can add just a little hint of custom white into your car. I'm not totally sold on the color scheme here, but they may be perfect for you, and they come in a variety of colors. For your tires, instead of the standard plastic air caps, there are these higher quality ones with the Tesla logo. They're easier to use and look better. The next accessory has become essential for me, a simple large water bottle holder. It fits into the cup holder, you tighten it into place, and it holds a large water bottle easily. Then, when you have a normal cup size as well, the rubber flaps hold it in place as well. I always travel with a 32 ounce water bottle, so I always have this in my car. If you find yourself wanting to change the wood trim or even white trim on your dashboard in the Model Y or 3, there are a few easy install options. Many people will wrap these, but that's a tedious process. Instead, I tried this dashboard cap cover and found it to be great. It's an easy install and matches the rest of the dash. Additionally, you can buy a genuine carbon fiber cover if that's the look you are going for. The standard pedal covers in these cars are all right, but these performance pedal covers are a cheap and simple upgrade. They improve the look of the pedals, putting them in line with Tesla's performance models, and they protect these pedals long term as well. Then if you find yourself needing a spare tire in these cars, there is the Modern Spare. The Modern Spare is specifically designed for the Model Y or Model 3, and is a great option you can store in your car as needed. Tesla doesn't include a spare in their cars, and instead wants you to use roadside assistance. However, depending on your trip, this could be a lifesaver. It's the best option designed specifically for these cars. The 3D Max Spider floor mats do a great job protecting protecting the rear of your Model Y, while also staying put. But if you find yourself loading in cargo that could damage the rest of the car, or these mats, or if you have a dog in your car, this pet cover could be perfect for you. It's a full seat back coverage liner, specifically designed for the Model Y. As you can see, it will protect your car from pets, bikes, or anything else you may need it for, and it clips onto the back headrests. Lastly are all those cleaning products I mentioned earlier. For washing your Tesla, you'll want to be extra careful and use a proper two bucket wash setup if you can. Linked below is the two bucket wash setup, along with the pressure washer and foam cannon that I use. They have worked great for me, and I use car shampoos from Chemical Guys when washing. Then for maintenance cleaning, I recommend a number of different cleaners for the interior and exterior. For myself, I use a waterless wash from Chemical Guys, along with a detailer, window cleaner, and interior cleaner. After wash is also great for getting rid of water spots, and for all of the above, you're going to want to use nice, soft microfiber towels to avoid any scratching. This is what I've used for a while, but a new package of equivalent cleaners is available now as well, and I've been trying those as well. They work great. I bought this package recently, and it includes an interior cleaner, car wash shampoo, waterless car wash, and glass cleaner. These are all essentials, so it's great that they come in one starter package. It can be easier to buy this way, especially to get started as opposed to buying individual Chemical Guys products, but both and all of those are linked below. That's a lot of accessories, but I wanted to be sure to include the essentials I've found as well as the latest things I've been trying out. There are tons of ways to improve your experience in these cars and tons of ways to have fun in the process. As I mentioned, everything is linked in the description below in order, and I hope this video was helpful for you. In the meantime, if you want to see the latest Tesla news, you can check out that video linked up here or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.